Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. Celebrity coach Nick has 20 years experience as a business owner, entrepreneur, performer, promoter, writer, and speaker. He's the author of Get Real and Take Responsibility for What You Want with a master's degree in leadership. And he's completing his second professional coaching for life and work graduate certificate at UC Davis. Nick's an expert at fear removal, and his current focus is helping celebrities get unblocked, create their own definitions of success, and translate that into all areas of their lives. Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G, Nick. Thank you, Lisa G. I'm so happy to be here. I love your podcast. I just love it. You do such a great job attracting so many knowledgeable and wonderful people. Well done. Well, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Now, let me jump right into the content. Why focus on celebrities? Aren't they already pretty unstoppable? I mean, it looks like it, doesn't it? Um, Absolutely. And uh, I, I just see a unique opportunity. Uh, one of the things uh, my my sales training mentor, uh, Eric Lofholm, uh, focuses on a strategy called POIs or people of influence. And basically what he says is that, if, and this can work not just in sales, but in any kind of networking or anything you want to do. If you can get in touch with somebody who is, are, already has a tremendous reach, you can get a lot done in a single conversation. And uh, I think that there's a very unique opportunity with celebrities because we are really a celebrity culture these days, yeah. right? Well, and, especially here in LA, where I live, and even California, um, where you are as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, so if one individual who has a, a really large reach is living holy, you know, yeah. W-W-H-O-L. Right. Right, like I whole CEO, or whole like if, CEO. Yeah. You know, if they're if they're living their authentic best life, right, then that's got to benefit their fans, right? Because people yeah. are getting more and more transparent, and it might even influence the content that they're pre- pre- presenting and blessing the world with. And so, and it also gives them an opportunity to truly reap the benefits of all of the tremendous work. It's such a competitive industry. Um, right. So that they're really living a form of success that they enjoy rather than just having other people telling them how happy they are all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, I love the potential of the ripple effect. It's like when one person smiles at you, then it can turn your whole day around. And then it, if, if you have such a huge influence, if you're influencing the influencer, they're influencing the millions. I can see why you're drawn to that work. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the downside, I mean, not to be too negative about this, but, you know, there, there's a cost to fame, right? I mean, we hear about that. It gets written into the songs. You see it in the movies. You hear it in the interviews. Of you know, course. it's not it's not I easy. It. Essentially, celebrity, celebrities are, are extraordinarily popular people. Right. And another way of saying that is that they're professional people pleasers. Right. And, yeah. and you and can lose yourself. Them. Yeah. Like you're going to the grocery store and you're, you ate a um, burrito and everyone's like, oh, that so-and-so is pregnant or so-and-so isn't nice. So the pressure is on. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you can really lose yourself in that. And I think that's a complaint sometimes with people that enter politics. By the time the campaign's oh, yeah. over, they don't even know who they are anymore. And, and that's not a that's not a character judgment. I don't think anybody else would handle it any better. That's tremendous pressure. But I, I'm just saying, wow, why not? Why not create a scenario where you can enjoy the fruits of your work and, and maintain yourself and still be able to give the world the gifts that that are coming to you? you know, to, to benefit them. And I, I'm just, I'm super passionate about that. It's I love fun. that. And that's why I like coaching as well. Cause I feel like all athletes and leaders need coaching and 
the top athletes and the top leaders are always coached because the pressure is on and the emotional maturity is so important. The gap between stimulus and response. So I really love what you're up to in the world. And that's why I invited you on here. And what can you tell us about becoming unshakable and having less fear that we haven't already heard? Because right before we started this podcast, you took me through the fear removal exercise. And I want to share that with our audience. But let's just start with um, how important is having less fear in this uncertain, crazy time we're all living in right now? How important? I mean, I think it's vitally important. And I think that has to do with the particular definition of fear that I choose to use. Can, can I, I share it with you? But of course. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I, uh, you know, you've heard the expression false evidence appearing real, right? That's become very popular. Right. And it's, it's catchy, but it's profound. Because basically what it means is that something is being presented that isn't real that appears to be real. It feels real though. Like, because like the media and all, all of this, this like sky is falling kind of stuff. Yes. Yeah. And so, so what is that? Is, is that just, does that have to be an anxious feeling? Well, it can be, but it doesn't have to be right. Yeah. Does it have to be some sort of a phobia? Well, I like a, a, the broadest possible definition of fear, which would be any misconception. It could be, it could be a bias. It could be an attitude. You know, yeah. it, it could just be the foundation point. It could be the reverberation of some. You know, we talked, talked a little bit about uh, abuse, and uh, before before we, we started rolling here, yeah. and I had just read an article, a Forbes article, where they're estimating that eighty percent of people have been emotionally abused at some point in their life. I so, know I have. Yeah, that's why I was yeah. excited to go through that yeah. exercise with you because. The pandemic has stirred up fear in everybody. And that's why I launched this podcast during the pandemic. It's like everything that we knew, there is no certainty, but everything we thought we knew was certain has changed. And, and there's, a, of course, a silver lining. But why don't you tell us a little bit more about having less fear and anything that isn't real? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm happy to. So I, the only the point I was getting to about the abuse and really COVID could be considered a form of abuse. I mean, it definitely had a deleterious impact on on all of us, changed our lives, you know, and yeah. it turns out in some ways there were very big silver linings and encouraging things that came out of that. But when, when something happens in that category, you know, we we naturally build up defenses and stuff like that to protect ourselves. Well, that could be a form of fear because maybe I'm trying to protect myself in a situation where I'm actually safe, but I don't know it because I'm remembering something that happened in 19, whatever, right? You know what I mean? Right. So, so that's, that's an expanded definition of fear. But the other thing that I just want to mention about fear, and this is something, you know, I'm doing a lot of postgraduate work on this. In fact, I've been accepted uh, into a PhD program that I'm probably going to have to defer at this point. But the whole purpose of it for me was to actually delve into fear because what in the and in the coaching community, what I'm hearing a lot is that people consider fear to be a category of multiple categories. Like you got your health, you got your finances, you know, you got your romantic life, and then maybe you got fear and you got exercise. And it's like, actually, I don't see it that way. I see fear as the thing that keeps us from being unstoppable. It is a layer like clouds that is blocking us from our unstoppableness and it can pervade all of those categories of life. I agree. And I believe that in, in I believe that unless that's being treated, um, I am just in this world doing the dishes while the house is burning man. You know, the and fear so must be treated first. I agree with you hundred percent. And I want to get a little bit more into how can our audience get past fear and become unshakable, unstoppable, unbreakable in these uncertain times? Because I know you took me through that exercise of fear removal and I really loved it because I am somebody who's been through abuse. I have had anxiety and stress. And although it was processed a long time ago, what happens is things get thrown at you and you want to be able to not bring those past experiences and and really be present in the moment and be like, is this real? 
or is this about my past? Yeah, and that's hard to navigate because real evidence also appears real, right? right? So you got real evidence appearing real, false evidence appearing real, you know, who's talking? You know, how do you tell the difference, right? Yeah, and so it's like forget everything and run or face everything and rise. I love all the acronyms, but I love your work that you're doing in the world. So how do we move through this fear and get to the bottom of things? Yeah, that's great. I'm so glad you asked me that, Lisa. So the, 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 the point is to filter, right? The point is to be able to recognize what fear is and what fear isn't. But because the phenomenon of fear is in our consciousness, we're trying to use the thing that's broken to try to decipher what's broken and what's not, right? I mean, that's right. not fly. Like, uh, you know, and so I have found that I need some sort of a filtration system that engages something beyond the thought process that I'm in, you know? And, and for me, what that is, and I've done it literally over 10,000 times in writing in my life, including this morning, and I'm planning to do it before my meditation again this afternoon, um, is the exercise that you just did. So can I turn the tables, Lisa, and you yeah. tell me what you just did? Okay, um, this was so helpful for me because I'm so into personal development and I'm a coach and I love to help busy executives become unstoppable in high performance. And for me, I feel hypocritical if I don't turn it around and apply it to myself and also have a coach. Like coaches need coaches too. So the exercise that you gave me right before we recorded this podcast was simple. I wrote down all of my fears and then I wrote down a more empowering thought afterwards. And you did one other thing too, didn't you? In between those two things. You actually asked something, your highest sense of self, your highest sense of support, whatever you want to call it, higher power, whatever people call it, you asked for that to remove them. So you went up higher. And then I instantly wanted to talk it, reframe it into the positive of what I do yes. want to manifest. And those floodgates really opened, right? Do you want to put down the positive things you wrote? Do you want to share those? Oh, I am manifesting perfect health wealth and abundance vitality and youthfulness forever i'm married and manifesting multiple millions <laughs> i have a lot of goals beautiful so it's I'm instantaneous right my boyfriend i already have a boyfriend but i just love post posing things in the positive i am doing this because I don't want to focus on the fear. I don't want to focus on the negative. I want to be a leader and removing the fear really helped me reframe things. And I do focus on those goals every morning and every night. Yeah. And isn't that amazing? It's just like clouds. Once they disperse, the sun shines naturally. There's no extra, um, you know, debriefing process that needs to happen. It's like clouds, no clouds light. Right. And that's, and so what you shared those are just examples of what comes in the apps, what's already there most likely, right? But just becomes comes into our consciousness once once the fear is removed. And so there's lots of ways to remove fear. And I just wanna say, um, if, if I could just take a second and say thank you to anybody in this world that's doing anything to try to reduce the intensity or amount of fear going on individually or globally in whatever form. I'm not here to try to like promote something over something else or whatever. Um, uh, I have just found that, you know, with all of the different things that can be done and are being discussed, the simplicity, have you know, have you tried the simplicity of just writing them down and asking for it to be removed? You know, like Einstein said, a clever person solves a problem. A wise person avoids it entirely. Like, let's just get the bugs off the windshield and live. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love that you want to spread the wealth and thank everyone that's doing the fantastic work that you're doing. And where can people find you to do more of this? Oh, it's easy. It's just uh, celebritycoachnick.com. Well, thank you, Nick, for being an amazing guest on Whole CEO with Lisa G. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me, Lisa. Keep up the good work. I would like to thank our sponsors, Magic Mind. This podcast is brought to you by Magic Mind. We have talked about fear and anxiety, and Magic Mind is something that helps me also with my ADD and focus. I take it, I put it in my coffee, it calms me down, gives me this really good sense of focus. And I highly recommend it to all of you guys. So Magic Mind, check it out. Check it out at magicmind.co. 
forward slash beyond coffee for a free download. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming a whole CEO of Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at lisagfit.com.